note when you are counting your menstrual cycle period ile menstrual cycle that cycle hiyo nyuma nasema regular irregular hizo it starts normally it starts from the day you begin your menses hiyo siku umeanza menses to the day before just the day before your next menses i hope you're together there Hi guys. How is everybody doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you um mm, you're well. Welcome to my channel. I am She Philip and uh thank you for tuning in here. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for just coming to watch this content. I'll teach you how to calculate safe days. I'm going to use this wall as my board because when something is taught practically i bet you get it more than just the theory so number one i'll teach you how to track your ovulation number two i'll teach you how to calculate your safe days safe days as i said are those days that you're not fertile so that is your infertile window next i'll teach you how to calculate your fertile window which is those days you can have sex or rather you can have intercourse to get pregnant most people or rather most women don't even know how many days their menstrual cycle goes for so by the end of this video you'll be able to know how many days your cycle is or if it's regular or irregular the next thing i'm going to teach you is how to uh, the, uh, is the normal cycle and the abnormal cycle because they, we have those are the ones that we call regular and irregular <laughs> irregular then this one will get nitawambia kwa tukimalizia because sometimes we have intercourse but we don't realize of how many days a sperm can survive in a woman's reproductive system yeah so <clears throat> i got myself a calendar i hope you did I am using the month of August this year which is 2023 as my illustration month. First, let me take you step by step. I'll start with counting your cycle. I'll use this red pen on top of my For example, I'll start with somebody who has 28 days cycle. Allow me to begin here as the as the person who has 28 day cycle to say me huyu mtu alipata monthly periods from day 1 day 2 3 and 4 to say me they had their menstrual periods for 4 days which starts from tuesday when it does the end friday those makes 4 days notes when you are counting your menstrual cycle period ile menstrual cycle that cycle hiyo nyuma nasema regular irregular hizo it starts normally it starts from the day you begin your menses hiyo siku umeanza menses to the day before just the day before your next menses i hope you're together there So when you're starting you're counting your menses you count from the day from the first day so for example this is Jane Jane is our Jane ndiye tunatumia leo Jane's menstrual cycle started from day 1 day 2 day 3 and day 4 so when we are counting Jane's menstrual cycle we are starting from day 1 so this will going to be our day 1 our day 2 our day 3 4 Menstrual cycle yake it's 28 days. 
so it means the next period the next period for chain starts on 29 because her first day of the menses iliqua so it means the whole of these days in your cycle of chain you say we are 28 in 28 days having that normal normal menstrual cycles normal normally normal are from 21 it can be 21 days 22 days there are people with 25 days there are people with 27 days 28 29 there are 30 there are 31 32 up to 35 if your rate is between 21 to 35 you're on a normal menstrual cycle but if it's even less which can be 18 19 16 trust me or if it can be 38 45 there are people who even have 45 that is now abnormal which means you have some abnormalities or some conditions that can trigger all those which which means you have to visit your gynecologist or you have to seek medical attention so we are using jane as you see jane has 28 day cycle so we have to find her ovulation day the ovulation means it's the day or rather it's that time of the month when your ovum releases an egg that egg from the ovum ovulation happens 14 days on the 14th day of every menstrual cycle so if it happens on the 14th of every menstrual cycle we are supposed to take 28, which is Jane's menstrual cycle days, to minus from 14, which will be which will be 14, right? So it means on date 14, date 14 mark. We are using the top days because it's in your days. Zenye, Zajin, you and your menstrual cycle are Jane. So on date 14, here is Jane's ovulation day. Again, ovulation is not precise. It doesn't mean since it's date 14 that you will the egg will be released on date 14, that it has to be precise. It's not. So what happens if it's 14, you have to plus or minus 2. You have to take if it's 14 you plus 2 or minus 2 that way it gives you a total of five days you get what i'm saying so it means from date 14 you'll get two you added two you'll minus two so from date 12 13 14 15 and 16 jane will be very fertile she will be either ovulating one of those days she will be ovulating note the reason why we have to take five days when a sperm comes into a woman's reproductive system it can last from three to five days that's how long a sperm can survive in your reproductive system so it means if jane the earliest day if jane released a leg on 12 sorry if jane had sex on 12 it means that sperm can last on jane's body for 13 14 15 16 iso sikutano sperms zitakuwa alive so by the time jane ovulates the sperm will mate with those with the egg because but those did survive that's why we have to take five days five days again I hope you got there. If you, you got the ovulation is 14. You plus all minus 2. That is ovulation. To give you 5 days from your cycle. If you have, if you have, allow me to use, allow me to scribble here. If you have 28 day cycle, you just minus 14. If you have 21 day cycle, you minus 14. If you have 35 day cycle, minus 14. If you have uh, 22 day cycle, just minus 14. If you minus 14, remember 
2 plus all minus 2 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 2 this means it will give you a total of 5 days that is your duration time that is the ovulation period that is your fertile period after knowing how to calculate your ovulation days note like i said ovulation will give you a total number of five days now when it comes to your fertile window those five days you are highly highly fertile any careless mistake you already have that and blend pregnancy now after ovulation you have the fertile days i think in a woman's body when you're ovulating let me show you how you calculate your fertile days i gave you five days please note we have 13 you blast or minus to see that that and that right so it's here we blast two and we minus two to give us one two three four five right now having that the earliest date that jane release an egg is 12 and probably jane might have intercourse to say me she's ovulating here to say me this is the earliest date that jane can release an egg so if she had sex here she will get pregnant remember Sperms can last for three to five days in a human, in a woman's reproductive system. If she can have sex here and the, the egg is released here, she will have become pregnant. Same case here. Same case here. So what happens? You add five days before the earliest day, you can release an egg. Let me show you practically. This is the earliest date. So we have to add one, two, three, four. I don't know when you, whether you're getting the logic here. If the egg can be released here and you had sex here, it means you can be pregnant. If the egg is released here and you had sex here, it still can get pregnant. That's why we are adding five. Note, if you don't want to really, really, really get pregnant, make sure the circle dates. You don't have intercourse and protected sex. And since your ovulation ends here, this is the last date that an egg can be released, the latest. So you add another day. You get what I'm saying? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Within your cycle, within your 28 day cycle, 10 days, you are extremely fertile. Don't have intercourse, don't make love unprotected, don't risk it all if you don't want to have an unplanned pregnancy. All these other dates, remember this was the first day of the cycle, this was the second day of the cycle, this was the second day of the menstrual cycle in the sequel to Alipata periods. And because the cycle was 28 days, the next one starts here and here and here and first of september normally most people won't have intercourse when they are having their period i said normally most it doesn't mean it's wrong or whatever that one depends on someone so it means having intercourse you have date five date six date seven those are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 you have 11 that you are that is now you are infertile that is your safe days those are your safe days those are the days you can risk it but remember it's not 100 percent so don't risk it i hope you got it i have used the simplest layman language i hope you got it remember ovulation is 14 days i re i will repeat it's 14 days before your next cycle. So you take the total number of your menstrual period cycle, which starts from this very day you begin your menses. Ilesik unanza menses. To the day, just the day before your next menses. 
so it can either be 28 it can either be 20 now that is your menstrual cycle days you take that to minus 14 the number you get the number you get see let me call 14 this is because i used 28 and i used this calendar this august month the number you get that is your ovulation day you plus or you minus two to have five days those five days are your ovulation period those five days if you need to have a fertile cycle a fertile period you plus five mbele, mbele, before you add five and you add one at the end to have a total of ten so that will give you it now I think I'll have somewhere to summarize for you. Let us summarize, right? I taught you how to calculate ovulation. The day you release an egg. You take your menstrual days. If it's 28, you minus 14. You have 14 plus or minus 2. To give you a total of 5 days which should be your ovulation days. I taught you how to calculate your safe days, right? After you get all these days, then you add five just before and one. You have all your fertile days and then all the rest are your safe days, if you call that. That is your fertile window. You have your cycle days, you know how to do that. From the day you start your menses to the very day before your next menses. Normal cycle begins from 21 days, from 21 days to 35. Anything beyond that, uh, it's triggered by either an abnormality or just something that you need to seek medical attention. Number of days sperm can survive in a woman's reproductive system, it's three to five days. I hope you got that. I hope I used the simplest language ever but if you have a query if you, there's something you did get if there's something you really need clarity on please comment down on the section below i'll be there to answer all your questions i'll be available to answer them all and if there is anything any topic you'd like me to handle on the side of reproductive women health i'll gladly do it so until the next video i'll see you next time and please enjoy this video and also watch to the end remember to subscribe because i believe you go to this part remember to give it a like and remember to subscribe bye